Huang. I lead Xiaomi International Business. Today is a very important day. This is the first time in Xiaomi's history we launch a product during MWC. You see, I'm very excited, probably too excited uh, to lose my voice. So I want to, uh, yeah, I will speak slowly to make sure everyone get my presentation. So, the theme for this event is we make it happen. I like the theme a lot because I believe the theme best explains our attitude as a young company. Xiaomi is still a very young company. Xiaomi was founded eight years ago. But We always have the mentality or attitude to make it happen. We make many things happen. We are a company very uniquely built by fans, for fans. I know that we have our Me Explorers here with us today. So where are you guys? Where are you? Thank you, thank you. Those are the fans. They stay with us to try new things together with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. You are all our reasons to continuously to do innovation and focus on quality and efficiency, resulted in continually achieving ground-breaking milestones. Let me show you some milestones of which in year 2014, just four years of our inception, we achieved 10 billion US dollars in revenue. And year 2017, we are crossed 15 billion US dollars in annual revenue, while other technology companies took minimum nine years to do that. Year 2018 has been an amazing year for us. According to IDC report, we are number four smartphone brand in the world with remarkable over 32% of year over year growth. And uh, we are very successful in smartphones. Each of these dots represents an uh, activated Xiaomi smartphone users. We call them MIUI users. So far, we have uh, over 224 million in the world. Now, we are in Europe. I remember November of year 2017, we entered. That's the first market we entered in Western Europe. Last May, we entered France and Italy. November, we entered UK. All very successful. I'm very proud to announce today that we are number one in terms of open market sales in Spain. Within only less than two years, only 15, 15 months. Thank you. Thank you for all the partner support. Without you, we cannot achieve that. Many people know us as a smartphone company. But actually, Xiaomi is so much more than that. We have full range of ecosystem IoT devices in our portfolio. Let me give you some examples. According to IDC Q3 report, we're number one in variables, thanks to the very popular Mi Band. We're number one variables in the world. And also, not only for that, Mi electric scooters. I saw so many uh, people riding scooters on the street of Barcelona, Madrid, Milan, London, and many other European uh, countries, cities, but actually cities, but actually we shipped over 560,000 
Miss Scooters. Miss Scooters is probably the best selling personal transportation device in the world in year 2018. Many people may not know we are also a number one smart TV brand in China, Chinese online channels. We're shipping many, many smart TVs to Chinese market. We start shipping uh, smart TVs to India and other countries. This chart, this chart shows only a few of 2,000 Xiaomi's ecosystem products in our product portfolio, created by over 200 companies we partner with or we incubate it. Speaking of partners, actually we've collaborated with IKEA to bring smart connected home to more users. And also, speaking of smart lighting solutions, we also partnered with Philips to bring more Philips lighting smart home solution to more homes. And with such collaborations, these companies are tapping into the world largest consumer IoT platform with over 132 million activated consumer IoT devices. We have a lot about Xiaomi ecosystem product, but there is nothing like seeing it in real. I'm going to do a little demo. So we, we have a, a demo home here. I'm going to do a little demo here to show how it works. Actually, all the product in this home is a really commercial product. You can easily buy it in up, uh, online or in our offline shops or other our partner's shops. So this is a door and also this is a sensor. When we enter the home, you will see the going home scenario is working. So you can easily program your home with an app in your smartphone. So let, you see the vacuum cleaner automatically, automatically go back to the, and probably when I go home I want to watch TV. Let me see, here is the uh, TV controller. Let me turn on the TV. You see the TV. So you see, you can watch many uh, different kind of programs. And also, I, I realize today's air quality probably is good. I don't need to the air purifier. I'm going to turn it off to save energy so that I can use the system to manage it. So let me try. Let me try. Maybe we, we do it here. Hey Google, turn off air purifier. Maybe I should turn off air purifier. Still working. I do a uh, lighting first. Still. So, I can control, I can control the, uh, the color of lights with smartphone very easily. And, it, and, and I can make it darker or lighter, brighter. should reset this.
me try one more time. Hey Google, he's not listening. <laughs> Sorry. So when I when I leave home, there's a there's a, another scenario where I get out of the home. So normally when I open the door, I push one button, so it will have a, the leaving home mode is working. Yeah. This is a little demo for the smart home. We make that happen with our amazing smartphones and the IoT products at honest pricing, as always. All our products are created with four core pillars, innovation, design, quality, and the value for money. So today, let's focus on innovation. We don't have a time to talk about others. Today, let's focus on 5G on the technology innovation. So 5G is a very hot topic for years, but this year is very, very different. 5G will become reality in this year and will drive future innovations in various industries such as smartphone and IoT. Xiaomi's future strategy is greatly focus on smartphone plus AIoT. Our CEO Lei Jun made an announcement during the annual event end of last year that Xiaomi will have a dual core strategy of smartphone plus AIoT and Xiaomi will invest in AIoT in over 1.47 billion US dollars in the next few years. 5G is a very complicated technology contributed by many parties, partners in the industry. But what does it mean to normal consumer like you and I? So I make, I want to share some of my thoughts about 5G. What does it differ? What does it mean to consumer? In my thought, I think I see three major benefits to the normal consumer. Number one, of course, the speed. So mobile internet promises faster speed for sure under 5G. There will be a mass, massive increase in speeds from megabit per second turning into gigabits per second. The second benefit of 5G is an ultra low latency that will result in shorter delay when transmitting and receiving data package. So many industry actually, such as gaming, AR, VR, and autonomous driving and more, will benefit from that technology. The third benefit of 5G is increased connectivity giving every cell site equipped with 5G technology would have increased capacity over 4G LTE. So that means more people and more device should be able to communicate at the same time. That brings a lot of new applications and services to the normal consumer like us. IoT is another 5G would play. Of the combination of 5G AI and IoT brings world of intelligent connectivity where virtually everything 
will be connected real time through cloud. So that will allow not only person to person communication and also person to device communication, more unique, uniquely and importantly, device to device communication. Innovative transportation, in summary, and also smart variables, smart appliances, and other will communicate with each other and other things around them and a very low latency network devices to change people's life. So with Xiaomi's full range of connected IoT platform, we are greatly positioned to drive future innovations in 5G IoT ecosystem. We are already ahead of a step in 5G era. In the past, actually, we started a research team early to conduct in-depth study on 5G technology. We contributed to the planning of narrowband IoT standard, and also we are heavily involved in setting 5G groundwork in China. We also make a remarkable uh, contributions and achievement in other standard bodies. Try to make 5G as early as possible. Last of September, we successfully connected a smartphone network. This is made possible with kind help from many partners, including, of course, Qualcomm and also Keysight. And this is just the beginning. I want to thank to our partners at the moment. Xiaomi has entered a 5G era and will be at the forefront of the next wave of 5G innovation. Let me call from Qualcomm Cristiano Amal to the stage to share with us about 5G. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Thank Thank you. Very happy to hear. It's a big moment. Give me a hug. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, good morning. Very happy to be here. This is a very... Uh, clearly, I look better on the picture. I'm sure it was taken with Xiaomi phone. Um, about our partnership with uh, Xiaomi. This is a partnership that started a very long time ago. Actually, I met Xiaomi when the company was just a handful of individuals that always wanted to take risk in mobile. One of the first companies that see the potential of premium before Snapdragon 800 and wanted to bring that to the China market and to the world. And when we think about the mobile industry, this is the largest industry now for the most important purchase decision from consumers is the combination of the entire consumer electronics and mobile. And we like to work with companies like Xiaomi that take risks. And when we look at the opportunity ahead of us, uh, for 5G, we see an opportunity to, to, to create winners and to bring change to the mobile industry. And we believe Xiaomi is one of those companies. So we're very proud of this relationship. And as I said, this is a very proud moment. For Qualcomm. 5G is here. Not in 2020, not late 2020. It's right now in 2019. 2019 is the year of 5G and we're starting to see devices being launching and many of those devices are going to start to go into commercial services and consumers as early as the second quarter of 2019. This transition, it will be faster than the 4G transition. We have a mature 
smartphone user base. We have educated users. I love the opportunity to interact with Xiaomi fans because our users did appreciate technology and the power of 5G to the smartphone industry is so high that we expect to see a much faster transition. Just as a comparison, when we were about a decade ago talking about the launch of 4G, we had about two operators. We have 20 right now uh, for the 5G. And it will enable new services, new business models, a new way to engage customers. Be very well positioned to capitalize on this opportunity. 5G will, will improve how we think about our phones. And it's not only about phones, but when you look at the experiences we get out of our smartphones, it will get better. Uh, as we have multi-gigabit speeds and low latency, and a technology that is being developed for the user that want unlimited data rates, unlimited speeds, unlimited connectivity with the cloud. We'll see how this technology will fundamentally change the services we have today. I'm not going to go to a number of examples, but I can just name a few. I'm not going to go to them all. Uh, video, 4K video is going to be as easy as streaming music. The ability to generate and share contact will fundamentally change how we think of social networking. The low latency will create virtual process. Gaming, it will be mainstream in mobile devices, not in consoles. And we're going to change productivity. We have a lot of opportunities uh, to bring innovation leveraging this technology. Of course, it doesn't st stop a phones. It's going to also be used to connect everything around us. But when we think of phones, and I, I wanted to present a new concept. We look at our phones today, and we have a lot of applications. And those applications in the operational systems, they connect to the cloud. Because 5G will enable the user to be connected with the cloud, 100% of the time with a reliable uh, air interface, you will start to see the apps in the cloud collapse it into one. It, it is less about the OS. It is more about the experience. And you can bring machine learning to every single application and computational as you have the latency uh, of 5G. You can unleash the power of the cloud for every application and service. And we started to see a completely new experience of everything is connected all the time. And that is how we're going to see said the Qualcomm, 5G, because you can connect the cloud with you, artificial in intelligence will see the fastest possible growth uh, going side by side with a 5G device. But we don't stop there. With the 855, we also bring in the Qualcomm Snapdragon Elite Gaming. It's not about just faster graphics. It's about understanding the now the number one platform for gaming is the smartphone. And we see that with a lot of mainstream gaming now, they went for cross-platform, which unleashed the power of mobile. It's one of the fastest growing industries uh, for the gaming, it's mobile gaming. And with that, we're actually bringing the premium gaming experience, and that's gonna be available on Xiaomi phones. And with the launch, of the Xiaomi 5G device, users will be able to see a change and will be able to experience all of that in the best the Xiaomi could offer. 
Again, we're very happy with this partnership. We're very proud of this partnership. We thank Xiaomi for what they're doing in the industry. Congratulate Xiaomi on the launch of the Xiaomi Mix 3 5G. And uh, we are super excited to see this device in the hands of all of you very soon. Thank you very much, Xiaomi. Thank you, Sean, for the great partnership. So thank you, Cristiano, and thank you, Xiao, for the warm introductions. And welcome, everyone, to MWC. My name is Donovan Sung, and I'm the Director of Product Management for the Xiaomi Global Team. And we have some pretty exciting announcements today. Let's go straight into it. So today, I'm honored to present to everyone the Mi Mix 3 5G, one of the world's first commercially available 5G smartphones. Coming So let's slide ahead. Let's see what Mi Mix 3 5G has. First of all, as Xiang and Cristiano mentioned, it's powered by Qualcomm's most advanced chipset ever, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. And on top of that, it's also powered by the Snapdragon X50 5G modem, which has support for 5G networks. What benefits does this bring? Well, the Snapdragon 855 uses a brand new Cryo 485 microarchitecture, which has a 45% uplift in performance. And the X50 5G modem has up to 20x sustained performance. Okay, so what does that actually mean? Well, let's, uh, let's dive in a little bit. You can basically see that with this new modem, we are completely changing the game and making it happen with completely new fast download speeds. Let me put into perspective. For those of you who are movie lovers, it takes one second to download a 15-minute 1080p, 256 megabyte video file. It's pretty good, right? And if you're an audiophile and you really love music, you can download 26 MP3 files at 320 kilobits per second in just one second. That's how fast 5G is. And today, we want to bring it live. So we're going to... Um, Trying to make history here and do our first ever 5G live demo. So let me uh, let me check it out here. All right. So here, I'm talking to our friends at Orange on the Mi Mix 3 5G. Hey, how's it going here? I'm calling you straight from MWC. So uh, I'm in a room right now, and I think there, I can't see everyone, but I think there's over a thousand people in this room right now listening to us. Is there anything you want to say to everyone? Yes, first of all, hi everyone, in the chat, for having us, Don't know I'm Xiaomi. We are proud to be here as a partner, the first 5G next ball. Before that, we would like to congratulate Xiaomi for another successful launch here in Spain. Thank you so much. So uh, uh, I'm probably going to get back to this launch now, but uh, Jose, let's definitely grab some drinks later tonight. Hey, everyone. Bye. All right. See you later, Jose. See you. So if you guys, uh, if we can focus the camera here, what you can see on the very top left is it says orange. On the very top right, 5G. So what you get, guys may not realize is we've just made history. This is the first time in Xiaomi history that we've ever done a 5G video call outside of China. Here today. Real 5G, not fake 5G, real 5G. Um, thank you. So we want to uh, give a huge round of applause again to our partners at Orange and all of the other partners we'll be working with to bring 5G 
not just here in Spain, but also across Western Europe and across the whole world. Thank you guys all again. Glad that worked out. All right. <laughs> so thank you again to Orange for making 5G a reality. Um, we're super excited to bring 5G. Thank you guys again. Everyone can clap, but no worries. If you don't want to clap, we can go on to the next part too. Uh, <laughs> so Mi Mix 3 5G. It continues the legacy of our flagship Mi Mix 3 series, which we just launched a few months ago in China, as well as globally. So all of the things you loved about Mi Mix 3, the ceramic body, the magnetic slider, the flagship photography experience, all coming to the Mi Mix 3 5G. And we've got a lot of awesome media reviews already. Let's take a look at some of them. Uh, I, I'm getting, I was too excited, I, I skipped the Forbes one. So Forbes called Mi Mix 3 a powerful, slick slider. And the XT developers said the build quality was superb and the camera was great even by DxOMark's high standards. And Mi Mix 3 5G has the same full screen magnetic slider as Mi Mix 3. And it has a almost 93.4, almost 94% screen to body ratio, so it's almost like you're just holding a single display in your hand. It uses the same camera module as Mi Mix 3, so you get the same great photography experience as reviewed by DxOMark and a lot of other camera reference companies. And just like the Mi Mix 3, it also has a dedicated Google Assistant button. It's very easy, you just tap this thing on the left here, and Google Assistant pops up. So really easy. Uh, this is one of the first phones we've launched with an AI Assistant button. It's gonna be available in two colors, a very cool and sleek Onyx Black, and the very beautiful Sapphire Blue. So Mi Mix 3 5G in summary. Essentially everything that you loved about the Mi Mix 3 now coming along with 5G, which you just saw in the demo just now. So what will it cost? Well, you know, 5G has been one of the big trends of this year. You know, it seems like there are more and more 5G phones that are coming out. This is going to be one of the world's first commercially available 5G phones. And as many of you know, Xiaomi's philosophy is to launch amazing products at honest prices. We want to make sure that everyone in the world can really enjoy our products at the best possible price. So what does everyone think would be a fair price for Mi Mix 3 5G? Everything about Mi Mix 3 and also supporting 5G. Any guesses? Okay, I heard, I heard, I heard something over a thousand, okay. <laughs> Okay, I heard 699 euros. That seems like a pretty good price, huh? For a, for a 5G phone. That seems pretty good, but I've been 699. Starting 599 euros. <laughs> 599 is better than 699, yeah? I think this is one of the most competitive prices for a 5G smartphone today and it's going to be available very, very soon. You guys can take as many pictures as you want, but we'll also have another slide later with 599 on it. And you can see we're partnering with a lot of key carriers, including Orange, 3, Sunrise, Telefonica, Tim, Vodafone, and many more coming very soon. And we want to bring this product as soon as possible so it's going to be available starting in May. Yeah. Less than three. Across a variety of channels. Our authorized Mi stores, Mi.com, and many more main retail channels. So there, here you have it. The Mi Mix 3 5G. 
starting from 599 euros with everything you loved about Mi Mix 3. Ceramic body, magnetic slider. And that's pretty much it. I'm just kidding, there's actually a lot more. Um, the next exciting product that we're going to announce today is Mi And as Xiangzong mentioned earlier, I'm personally very, very excited about Mi 9 because it's the first time that we're coming to MWC to properly launch a product. And even better, we just launched Mi 9 in China less than four to five days ago. And we're bringing it to our global markets already. Mi 9 is ultra clear AI triple camera flagship phone. It's our first ever triple camera phone. And it's a beautiful phone. It's absolutely dressed to the nines, no pun intended. A lot of you may have seen it online already, but sometimes if you haven't really taken a very close look, you don't really get the same impression. So here's a little product video. Everyone think. Okay, some people like it. So you can see the very bottom to the very top. It's just a simply beautiful curved design. And it's a triple camera setup that we'll talk a little bit more about later. If we just zoom out a little bit, you can see the way the colors hit the back of the screen. It's always a little bit different because of the extra curved design, which we'll talk a little bit more about. It's available in a couple colors. You just saw the ocean blue. This is the lavender violet. And here are the two colors paired together. Ocean blue on the bottom, lavender violet on the top. And this beautiful back cover, it's a result of a cumulative effort from our ID and our smartphone product team with amazing attention to detail. I'd love to just dive in a little bit to show you some of the key points. So we have a very advanced back cover process, and it took more than a year of really rigorous testing to get to this point. We have over four layers. I'll just go through some of the main ones. There's a nano-level color coding. On top of that, a nano-level holographic pattern, which creates that very shimmering effect. On top of that, we put a reflective coating, and on the very top, we put Corning Gorilla Glass 5. And you can see the net effect of these different layers creates this shimmering holographic rainbow spectrum effect. So every time you pick up the phone, the way the light hits the back of the phone is a little bit different. So you can fall in love with the phone every time again. We have a lot of attention to detail. On the very top of this triple camera setup, you see this halo ring accent, which kind of adds a certain asymmetry to the phone that makes it even more stunning. In order to make it more scratch resistant, because if you're like me, I'm always putting my phone in my pocket, maybe it scratches my keys or coins or other things like that, we have this sapphire glass cover, which makes sure that the camera can be protected really easily. And we also have this stainless steel around the entire camera coating here. And here in Spain and in Western Europe, we're going to be launching this phone in three official colors. We already talked about the ocean blue. This is the lavender violet. And of course, the set would not be complete without the very smooth and classic piano black. So these are the three colors we're launching. So on top of that, this phone also has amazing hand feel. It just feels really nice in your hand. 
And one of the reasons is the curve. So one of our most popular flagship phones was the Mi 8. A lot of you have used it as well. And the Mi 8 was also a four-sided curved glass phone. But the very back of the Mi 8 is completely flat. So it doesn't really have the same shimmering effect. In contrast, the Mi 9 is curved all the way. It's an all-curved design. And that's why it creates this very interesting, what do we call this, sort of a rainbow effect. We're big fans of Gaudi. And one of the interesting quotes that I saw recently was this one. The straight line belongs to man. The curved line belongs to God. And we definitely took that as inspiration for the design of this new phone. And we're very proud to announce that we also work with the Gaudi Academy of Knowledge to get the certificate. Here's what they said. Mi 9 beautifully combines the reflection of light, seamless curves, and the use of natural elements to create a masterpiece of art. It's slim and light, it's only 173 grams, but it's packed with a lot of technology, which we'll go through. Very, very thin, too. The very thickest part is only 7.61 millimeters, which if anyone knows, is actually very, very small by today's standards. But the thinnest part is only 3.5 millimeters. And the way we've curved it makes it look visually much slimmer than it actually is. So here are the highlights of the phone we mentioned so far. Sapphire glass cover on the triple camera setup, the halo ring accent, very slim, very light, and of course, the all-curved design that creates the shimmering colors and the holographic spectrum. And it's a full screen display. Very massive, immersive, full screen experience. 6.39 inch AMOLED display with a very narrow chin. So it almost feels like holding a pure display in your hand. Now a lot of us are using our phones a lot nowadays, all the time, sometimes over four to five hours a day. So in order to make this phone even better for consumption, we've added reading mode 2.0 to really reduce harmful Blu-rays. And we've worked with a VD8 to make sure that it's certified. And speaking of the front display, we've also added a highly sensitive in-screen fingerprint display. It works really, really fast. Here's a video here. I put my thumb and it's done. Put my thumb, I, I could watch this video like all day, uh, but we should probably move on to the, uh, to the rest of this presentation here. Unlocks much faster than you can think. There's a lot more details I could talk about when it comes to Mi 9, but if I had to summarize just three key points, here they are. Beautiful, dressed to the nines with the holographic effort. Excellent hand feel, very slim and very light. And of course, a very fast fingerprint display. All right, let's keep going on. So, in addition to looking great, Mi 9 is our very first ever triple camera setup. Now, a lot of us use our phones nowadays for much more than just taking phone, phone calls and texting. A big part of it is expressing ourselves through taking photos in a variety of situations, including night shots, portrait shots, landscape shots, macro shots where you really want to focus in on food or plants or nature. And usually, if you really want to achieve the best effect across a lot of different scenarios, you might need to carry a lot of different cameras. You know, one camera, I see a lot of cameras in front of me here. Uh, so it could get really heavy. You have one lens for one scenario, another lens for another scenario. So what we did with Mi 9 is we really took all the key scenarios and we put it in a single phone. So you can shoot like a pro with one single phone. So let's uh, dive in a little bit on each of these three cameras. At the very top, we have a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. In the middle, we have one of the stars of the show, which is our 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 main wide angle lens. And at the very bottom, we have a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. And each of these three lenses serves a different purpose. You can see the telephoto lens allows you to zoom in at least 2x, to get photos like this. The main wide-angle lens 
lets you create really high resolution, beautiful shots, and the ultra wide angle lens lets you really create that panoramic effect over 117 degrees. Let me focus a little bit on the 48 megapixel. This is using the flagship Sony IMX586 sensor, which is the highest resolution camera sensor in the market right now. So if you look at the sample shot here, does anyone know where this is, by the way? It's definitely in Europe. I think this is in Norway. Uh, some, uh, you can see the snow, the very distinctive houses. And you can already see this is a very good shot, you know? Uh, all of the details, even like uh, the way the signs are planted in the snow. But if you think about it, actually this is just one small part of a much bigger photo. And actually I could zoom out even more. That's the power of 48 megapixel. <laughs> 48 megapixel allows you to take shots and blow them up to poster size. So that's one use case if I want to zoom out. Sometimes I want to zoom in as well. So let's say I took this shot of these beautiful flowers and I want to zoom in, let's say over there. You see, even when I zoom in, the petals, the pollen, it's all still very, very clear. You could probably even use this zoomed in version as a desktop wallpaper if you really wanted. Here's another example. You can see all the details. Um, it makes me want to eat some steak later tonight. Uh, so you can see the details uh, in the meat. Let's just zoom in on the tomatoes here. So you can see the fine details in the stem of the tomatoes, the asparagus, still super stunning and clear. We can see focus on the different stems, the different twigs, and the snow. And here's another shot too. Shot on the 48 megapixel shot. And if you compare this to some other flagship cameras, you can see the 48 megapixels offers four times more pixels than a typical 12 megapixel shot. So you get a lot more details, for example, when you're zooming in on different signs. And one of the reasons it has much clearer photos is because of the CMOS sensor. It's a one and a half inch CMOS image sensor, which is a bigger version than what we had in Mi 8. And with this image sensor, we're able to also shoot really well even under low light conditions. Here's another example. You can see how clear the sign is, the words are at the top, even the little items hanging in the middle of the shop. Here's another one of my favorite shots here. You can see in a typical nightlight shot, on a typical camera, a lot of this would be overexposed, especially the neon lights at the top. But you can see here, this is all very clear. Even the bottom here, the reflection, it's really, really good. And a lot of this has to do with this flagship camera sensor, the IMX586. We have a technology called four-in-one pixel binning. It combines four different pixels into one super large pixel. That pixel is 1.6 microns large, giving you a lot more light than the original layout. We also have a very large f1.75 aperture and laser autofocus technology. So even in the dark, you can focus and capture sharp and clear images. We have a smart metering AI technology. A lot of you know, you know, cameras today are much more than just hardware. We also have to add in software as well. So what AI smart metering does is it intelligently adjusts the exposure, exposure level for each different frame. So here's another uh, comparison. You can see on the right here, a lot of the details are very, very clear, whether the red jacket or the motorcycle or even inside the shop. If we just focus on the motorcycle here, you can see even under very dark lighting conditions, we capture a lot more details with the Mi 9. All right, so the 48 megapixel allows you to capture these amazing shots. What about the telephoto lens? The telephoto lens lets you get closer to the action. You just tap this button in the middle, it says 1x, tap it, now it says 2x, and you get 2x closer to the action. the next star of the show, which is the ultra wide angle lens. So a lot of us now are taking photos in urban photography as well. 
and we want to take these panoramic architectural shots. Let me know if this is a familiar situation. Let's say I want to take a photo of this really cool sort of statue or building or architecture here, but I can't really back up anymore, so I'm just a little bit too close to the shot, and I end up with a shot like this. Well, here's where the ultra wide angle comes into view. All you got to do is tap this button here, and you can get the ultra wide angle shot. All right, some, some people like this shot. Here's another example here. I tap this again, zooms out. And here's another example, inside a museum. Sometimes you want to capture even more shots. You can tap this, zoom out, and capture the whole shot. On top of this, we've also added some AI features. So what you can do here is, sometimes we can intelligently detect that you're looking at some famous statue or architecture. And this thing will pop up through AI software, saying, maybe you could try the ultra wide angle mode. So you tap it, and boom, you're able to capture the whole shot. Is that pretty cool? Yeah. And it also works with wide portrait mode. So Xiaomi's always been very well known for our portrait mode, taking shots like this one. Focus beautifully on the subject with a blurred background. But sometimes you want an even more panoramic shot. So all you got to do is tap the ultra wide angle mode and boom. You get this really wide portrait mode. We uh, created a cool video. Uh, I'd love to show everyone this video of our ultra wide portrait mode. I love this video, especially that scene at the, at the end uh, with the party, uh, which is what we're going to be doing tonight. <laughs> Another uh, really awesome part of the wide-angle feature is that it also supports four-centimeter macro photography. So you can really blow up really small objects in a lot of details, whether you're taking pictures of strawberries or nature, plants, so on and so forth. And if you compare this to some other flagships out there, you see the difference is quite substantial. Let me just uh, focus on this one part here. Yeah, it's quite obvious. Another one of my favorite features is 960 frames per second slow motion video. So we understand a lot of users nowadays actually are using the camera not just to take photos, but to take video especially to share on Instagram stories, on YouTube, uh, on WhatsApp, Facebook, so on and so forth. So let me just show you a quick example of a 960 frames per second slow motion video. You see we also have uh, automatically paired some uh, very amazing music to make this video even cooler. Uh, I love the guy in the, uh, with, the, with the teddy bear hat on, too. Let's just watch this video one more time. Okay. Now everyone's looking at the, at the bear, huh? Uh, so one of the amazing things about this uh, feature is it can really turn ordinary scenarios into Instagram-worthy videos just using slow motion. And we have a lot of other software features for our camera as well. Uh, stand, steady handheld night photography, real-time adjustable blur, real-time studio lighting. Uh, just unfortunately, we uh, don't have time to go through all of them today. But if I just had to summarize very quickly what we have for our camera, 
uh, you can see it's just completely packed with technology, a lot of which you've probably read about online already. Here's just some highlights for each of the three different camera sensors. Now the thing about taking photos is that it can be pretty subjective, right? What makes a truly great photo? Maybe I think this one's really good, but maybe someone else thinks this one's really good. So we've tried to bring some objectivity into the process by working with one of the world's top camera reference companies, which is DXL Mark. And we're very proud to announce today that Mi 9 has an overall score of 107 from DXL Mark. So what does 107 mean? Well, if you look at the world ranking, 107 is the second rank score in the world. There's only, uh, you know, one other score above 107 here. But I don't know if you noticed on the last slide, this is the overall score. But as I mentioned earlier, a key thing for the camera is taking videos. And you may not have noticed, but our DxO Mark video score is number one in the world. <laughs> above any other camera out there. So here it is in summary. The AI triple camera, 12 megapixel telephoto lens to let you get twice as close. The 48 megapixel main camera for ultra high clarity shots and the 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens to give those truly panoramic shots. Let's show some uh, actual photos. Uh, we're gonna be running a social media campaign later, shot on Mi 9. We'd love everyone to participate as well. So here's an architectural shot in London here. And you can see a lot of the key aspects of an architectural shot. Very clean lines, great color contrast. Here we are back in Norway again. You can see here, this was actually taken under very low lighting, but maybe it's not super obvious because it's so brightly lit. It's because of our large pixels. You can see it's capturing the northern lights, a lot of details here. You know, sometimes we like to joke, um, probably uh, being a Xiaomi photographer is one of the best jobs in the world. You gotta take a brand new phone and travel to all these different places in the world, take these amazing video, amazing shots. Uh, here's a, Here's a shot that I thought was very interesting. I wanted to show everyone. Uh, this is taken from the ultra wide angle lens. Uh, there's some distortion, but you can see it's really capturing this panoramic view as this horse is looking straight into the camera. And then the horse wants, uh, wants to know what lens it's being shot on too. Beautiful details in every shot here. Flawless skin. You can see the details in the hair, in the clothes, and of course in the skin as well. Here's another really gorgeous photo here. You can see uh, one of the details I like to point out here is you can see the rays of light on her skin as it shoots through the hat. And here's another stunning portrait shot taken from the ultra wide angle light of colors and the wide angles. We also paired with 20 megapixel selfie camera which also supports AI portrait mode. There's a lot, a lot more I could say about this camera, but there's only four things you have to remember. It's these four things here. You can take ultra clear, poster worthy photos, 48 megapixel camera, capture even fuller photos with our ultra wide angle lens, clear images even under low light because of the very large pixels from the main camera sensor, and of course, amazing videos. Ranked number one in the world for video photography by DXL Mark. All right. No, it's not the price yet, almost. So we'll talk about the performance really quickly. Mi 9 is also a performance beast. We're using the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 855, also with Cryo 485 architecture. It's using a seven nanometer process technology and packed with a big battery, it's extremely power efficient. And you see the benefits here. The new Cryo 4 5 architecture has improved efficiency of 45%, while the graphics card has improved efficiency of 20%. What does this mean? Well, 45% is the biggest leap ever in Snapdragon performance. A 
And we couldn't be prouder to work with Cristiano and the entire Qualcomm team on this. And if you compare the 855 to the 800, just launched a few years ago, you can see the performance has already increased by 3.7x, which is absolutely amazing. Even better, the new 7 nanometer technology brings about better AI performance, which is becoming a very common application nowadays. It's over 7 trillion operations per second. If you compare it to the previous generation of Snapdragon AI performance, it's over 3x better. And if you compare it to a couple of other flagship phones, over 2x better. Whopping on to two score of almost 388,000. It's pretty amazing. And if you compare it to other flagship phones here, you can see it's clearly the winner. When you pair it with our full day battery, you're able to get through this whole day on a single charge. Go to one of my absolute favorite, favorite features of Mi 9. So a lot of flagship phones nowadays support wireless charging. Has anyone ever used a wireless charger here? A few people, yeah? But not too many. And I think I know the reason why. Because wireless charging is still a bit slow sometimes. Sometimes when you put the phone on the wireless charger, it takes a bit of time. If you take a look at some other wireless chargers, uh, flagship phones that support wireless charging, you can see there's some improvement over the years, right? The wireless power has been increasing steadily, 7.5 watts, now 15 watts, you know, it used to take, you know, uh, 257 minutes, it used to take, oh, you know, over four hours. Now it's uh, maybe still taking over two hours. Here's another world first for Mi 9. We are launching the world's first phone that supports 20 watt wireless charging. And to charge it to 100%, 90 minutes, one and a half hours. That means that if I charge the Mi 9 at the beginning of this launch event, it would be fully charged by the end of this launch event. So if we compare it here, you can see there's a very, very clear improvement when it comes to wireless charging. From 7.5 watts now to 20 watts, from over 250 minutes to now only 90 minutes. And some of you might wonder, well, if it's charging so fast, is it safe? And the answer is it's absolutely safe. We've been working with some of the world's top companies, including TUV Rhineland, so you can charge with peace of mind. We're going to be selling this separately. And the bonus is it's Qi compatible, so you can also use it to charge your other devices including your iPhones, your Samsungs, and all those other devices. All right, so we love the Mi 9, and we're pretty sure you're all going to love the Mi 9 as well. There's only three things you have to remember. It's our first ever triple camera phone. There's a lot of features here. I won't read all of them, but it's ranked number one in the world for video from DxO Mark. Second of all, it's designed to the nines, it's beautiful, it's thin, it's light, and it has a beautiful curve, and it also has an in-screen fingerprint sensor. And of course, it uses the amazing Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 with 20 watt wireless charging. Now for the price. I'm hearing some very high numbers here, very high numbers here. So if we compare Mi 9, to some other flagships here, you can see most flagships in the market are selling at a minimum of 900 euros and sometimes go all the way over 1,200 euros. So what does everyone think would be a good price for Mi 9? 600, okay, I heard 600. That, that would be a good price, but I think we could probably do better than that. 499, that's pretty good too. But maybe 449 would be even better.
449 for the 6 plus 64 GB version. And for the 6 plus 128 GB version, 499 euros. Is that a pretty good price? That's pretty good. So here we go again. Most flagships in this market are selling for a minimum of 900 euros, but we think we're bringing quite a competitive price here. Mi 9, our ultra clear AI triple flagship camera, flagship specs at honest pricing, starting from 449 euros. This will be available very soon. Pre-orders start in Spain today. This will be available at all of our authorized Mi stores, Mi.com here in Spain, and all of our retail channels with many more to come soon. Even better, for everyone in Italy, pre-orders also start today across all of our channels. And for France, they also start today as well across our authorized Mi stores, Mi.com, and all of our retail channels. One more surprise. We have one more product that will be launching here in Italy today, in Europe here. The Mi LED Smart Bulb. This is the bulb that we just saw in the IoT demo just now. This is absolutely one of my favorite products. You can paint your home in a lot of different colors. This light bulb supports over 16 million different colors. You just choose a color that you like and you can light up your home. You can easily adjust the color temperature and the brightness so you can have different moods and purposes in your home. It also supports voice assistants like Google Assistant and Alexa from Amazon. You can easily switch on the lights, dim the lights, change the color, so on and so forth. And as Xiang showed earlier in our IoT demo, you can also easily control the lights through our Mi Home app on your phone. Anytime, anywhere. And the Mi LED smart bulb is also extremely energy efficient. It lasts up to 11 years. You know, at Xiaomi, we care a lot about energy conservation. And we know here in Europe, a very key thing as well is being environmentally friendly. So we've designed our bulbs to be energy efficient. And what will the price of this be? So this is a typical smart bulb. This is not the actual price of our light bulb. This is the price of a typical smart bulb here in Europe, 49 Point nine euros. This is not our price. This is not our price. This is the price of a typical smart bulb. Not, not, not our price. We think we can do even better than this. You know, as we mentioned earlier, Xiaomi is really about bringing the world's top technology at the world's most honest pricing to our consumers. Any guesses what we think we can bring it at? Someone said 39. Okay, 39. That would be lower than 49. 35 is definitely lower than 39. Okay, someone said 25. I think you're getting a little bit closer. So the Mi LED smart bulb will be selling here for only 19.9 euros. In white and color versions. So here it is. The Mi LED smart bulb, white and color. 16 million stunning color options, adjustable and dimmable color temperatures, easily controllable, energy efficient. Now on top of this one, we actually have yet another surprise. As Xiang mentioned earlier, we're also working with Philips. And we're gonna also be partnering on a white bulb option for only 9.9 .9 euros. Also easily automatable, dimmable, and controllable by your Mi Home app as well as your various voice assistants. And now, I'd like to invite Mr. Wang Xiang back on stage for a wrap up on all of the products that we've launched today. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Dalawan. Thank you, very good presentation. Thank you, Dalawan. So here.
our list of our products. Please feel free to take photos. It is such a joy occasion to hear today. Let me invite back. I'll take my good friend and partner Christiana Ma to the stage to have a photo. To have a photo. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Christiana. Thank you very much. We're going to have a good Yeah. Yeah, here. Here. Thank you, thank you very much, thank you very much. So, as we enter the 5G era with our smartphones, our IoT dual core strategy, Xiaomi will be at the forefront of next wave of 5G innovation. We make it happen. And we will continue to make it happen. Build amazing product to let everyone enjoy a better life through our technology innovation, regardless nationality, gender, and income level. That's our dream. So now it's a it's a gift time. So we prepare a little gift for everyone today. Here, it's a me light pop. Thank you, thank you everyone for coming. Please enjoy uh, the IoT co uh, connected IoT devices at your home. And I'll see you next time on our Xiaomi launch event. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. We have a demo for everybody on the back. So you're welcome to experience the demo. Thank you. 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 Honored to invite you to visit it. Please, the, the interpretation headsets on the chair. Thank you. Muchas gracias a todos. La experience area está ubicada al fondo de la sala. Les invitamos a visitarla. Por favor, dejen los receptores de traducción simultánea en sus sillas. Gracias.
I lead Xiaomi International Business. Today is a very important day. This is the first time in Xiaomi's history we launch a product during MWC. You see, I'm very excited, probably too excited uh, to lose my voice. So I want to, uh, yeah, I will, I will speak slowly to make sure everyone get my presentation. So the theme for this event is we make it happen. I like the theme a lot because I believe the theme best explains our attitude as a young company. Xiaomi is still a very young company. Xiaomi was founded eight years ago. But we always have the mentality or attitude to make it happen. We made many things happen. We are a company very uniquely built by fans, for fans. I know that we have our Mi Explorers here with us today. So where are you guys? Where are you? Thank you, thank you. Those are the fans. They stay with us to try new things together with us. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming. You are all our reasons to continuously to do innovation and focus on quality and efficiency, resulted in continually achieving ground-breaking milestones. Let me show you some milestones, of which in year 2014, just four years of our inception, we achieved 10 billion US dollars in revenue. And year 2017, we are crossed 15 billion US dollars in annual revenue, while other technology companies took minimum nine years to do that. Year 2018 has been an amazing year for us. According to IDC report, we are number four smartphone brand in the world with remarkable over 32% of year-over-year -year growth. And uh, we are very successful in smartphones. Each of these dots represents uh, activated Xiaomi smartphone users. We call them MIUI users. So far, we have uh, over 224 million active smartphone users in the world. Now we are in Europe. I remember November of year 2017, we entered Spain. That's the first market we entered in Western Europe. Last May, we entered France and Italy. November, we entered UK. All very successful. I'm very proud to announce today that we are number one in terms of of open market sales in Spain within only less than two years, only 15, 15 months. Thank you. Thank you for all the partner support. Without you, we cannot achieve that. Many people know us as a smartphone company, but actually Xiaomi is so much more than that. We have full range of ecosystem IoT devices in our portfolio. Let me give you some examples. According to IDC Q3 report, we're number one in variables, thanks to the very popular Mi Band. We're number one variables in the world. And also, not only for that, Mi electric scooters. I saw so many uh, people riding scooters on the street of Barcelona, Madrid, Milan, London, and many other European uh, countries, cities, but actually cities, but actually we shipped over 560,000 
Me Scooters. Me Scooters is probably the best selling personal transportation device in the world in year 2018. Many people may not know we are also a number one smart TV brand in China, Chinese online channels. We're shipping many, many smart TVs to Chinese market. We start shipping uh, smart TVs to India and other countries. This chart, this chart shows only a few of 2,000 Xiaomi's ecosystem products in our product portfolio created by over 200 companies we partner with or we incubated. Speaking of partners, actually we've collaborated with IKEA to bring smart connected home to more users. And also speaking of smart lighting solutions we also partnered with Philips to bring more Philips lighting smart home solution to more homes. And with such collaborations, these companies are tapping into the world largest consumer IoT platform with over 132 million activated consumer IoT devices. We heard a lot about Xiaomi ecosystem product, but there's nothing like seeing it in real action. I'm going to do a little demo. So we, we have a, a demo home here. I'm going to do a little demo here to show how it works. Actually, all the product in this home is a really commercial product. You can easily buy even up, uh, online or in our offline shops or other our partners' shops. So this is a door and also this is a sensor. When we enter the home, you will see the going home scenario is working. So you can easily program your home with an app in your smartphone. So let, you see the vacuum cleaner automatically, automatically go back to the dock. And probably when I go home, I want to watch TV. Let me see. Here is the uh, TV controller. Let me turn on the TV. You see the TV. So you see, you can watch many uh, different kind of programs. And also, I, I realize today's air quality probably is good. I don't need to the air purifier. I'm going to turn it off to save energy so that I can use the uh, voice assistant to manage it. So let me try. Let me try. Maybe we, we do it here. Hey Google, turn off air purifier. Maybe I should turn off air purifier. Still working. Maybe I, I do a lighting first. Still. So I can control. I can control the uh, the color of lights with smartphone very easily. And it, and and I can make it darker or lighter, brighter. Mm. 
Maybe you should reset this. Let me try it one more time. Hey Google. He's not listening. <laughs> Sorry. So when I when I leave home, there's a there's a, another scenario when I get out of the home. So normally when I open the door, I push one button. So it will have a, the leaving home mode is working. Yeah. This is a little demo for the smart home. We make that happen with our amazing smartphones and the IoT products at honest pricing, as always. All our products are created with four core pillars, innovation, design, quality, and the value for money. So today, let's focus on innovation. We don't have a time to talk about others. Today, let's focus on 5G, on the technology innovation. So 5G is a very hot topic for years, but this year is very, very different. 5G will become reality in this year and will drive future innovations in various industries such as smartphone and IoT. Xiaomi's future strategy is greatly focused on smartphone plus AIoT. Our CEO Lei Jun made an announcement during the annual event end of last year that Xiaomi will have a dual core strategy of smartphone plus AIoT and the Xiaomi will invest in AIoT in over 1.47 billion US dollars in the next few years. 5G is a very complicated technology contributed by many parties, partners in the industry. But what does it mean to normal consumer like you and I? So I make, I want to share some of my thoughts about 5G. What does it differ? What does it mean to consumer? In my thought, I think I see three major benefits to the normal consumer. Number one, of course, the speed. So mobile internet promises faster speed for sure under 5G there will be a mass, massive increase in speeds from megabit per second turning into gigabits per second. The second benefit of 5G is an ultra low latency that will result in shorter delay when transmitting and receiving data package. So many industry actually, such as gaming, AR, VR, and uh, autonomous driving and more, will benefit from that technology. The third benefit of 5G is increased connectivity, giving every cell site equipped with 5G technology would have increased capacity over 4G LTE. So that means more people and more device should be able to communicate at the same time. That brings a lot of new applications and services to the normal consumer like us. 
IoT is not a very important aspect where 5G would play a very big role. The combination of 5G AI and IoT brings world of intelligent connectivity, where virtually everything will be connected real time through cloud. So that will allow not only person-to-person -person communication and also person-to-device communication, more unique, uniquely and importantly, device-to-device -device communication. The innovative transportations, in summary, and also smart variables, smart appliances, and other IoT products will communicate with each other and other things around them and uh, a very low latency network allowing more IoT devices to change people's life. So with Xiaomi's full range of connected IP platform, we are greatly positioned to drive future innovations in 5G IoT ecosystem. We are already ahead of a step in 5G era. In the past, actually, we started a research team early to conduct in-depth study on 5G technology. We contributed to the planning of narrowband IoT standard, and also we are heavily involved in setting 5G groundwork in China. We also make a remarkable uh, contributions and achievement in other standard bodies. Try to make it, to push the 5G as early as possible. Last of September, we successfully connected a smartphone in 5G network. This is made possible with can help from many partners, including, of course, Qualcomm and also Keysight. And this is just the beginning.